Hello to you, Dr. Yitzhak Dreamer, Hi. the founder and also the teacher of the ultimate medicine. Throughout the classes, the courses that you've been holding in the Dreamer Center in Israel, in the Holy Land, um, share with me one experience, one story, one moment that you were thrilled because of the impact of the knowledge of the ultimate medicine that was reflected in the mind, in the observation of your students. So when you ask the student first day, um, and it doesn't matter where they're coming from, they can be psychologists, they can be doctors, they can be nurses, they can be um, people that work in a factory that want to advance. You ask them what is uh, reality? And in Hebrew, the word reality is mitziut. So reality is what you realize to be reality. So you invent your reality. It's not an absolute term. It's something that people are imagining. So there are a few absolute terms. It would be the sky, the ground, the sea, mm -hmm. and the wind. This will be the factors that are not changing in reality. And the disease? Is it an it's, absolute term? No. Disease is also creation from the mind, possibly. It can be from the environment, but mostly from your mind. So basically, we shouldn't be sick at all. So you are creating your reality, you realize your reality. So that's a beginning. So when, when somebody stands in front of you and you tell them that, and he says, I create my reality, so absolutely, today, a lot of us already know that we create the real, our reality. However, we're not given enough tools to understand that. So a lot of people announcing it in various areas of uh, treatment, in various areas of uh, development, personal development. But how do you create and influence your reality? That's a question. So that's the first thing that we share with our people that are our students. The second thing is, we ask them, what is life? So you get a lot of answers, but the real, one of the amazing answers are, life is a game. A game. A game. In, in the game of life, on earth, we have rules. So you play the game and you want to know the rules very well, play, play within the rules, sometimes break the rules, and when you play a game, you want to enjoy, succeed, win, and, win, and you want to um, feel the process with uh, amazing, um, within the amazement of the game that it will give you. That's the game. And when you look at a lot of people in that game, you see a lot of suffer. They don't know that they create their reality. They don't know that they are within a game. And they don't know that they can change their reality within the game. How? That's what we teach. So once you know that for yourself first, then you can take the next steps to see how you're going to affect it. But even when you, you've been in, in working and helping uh, and curing also young children from the age of few months and some of them that are living in a very very attentive reality and family when they are 10 or 12 or 14 they already forgot or do not remember that it's a game so what is happening to the seed of this such an important understanding why people are so stressed? Why are they suffering? Why are they doing that for themselves? Because you teach them from the day one, day one that they're born and later on their life, mm -hmm. you warn them, you teach them fear. Fear you, out of what? Fear from life, of life. Don't do that, be careful of that, you shouldn't do that. This is very dangerous, pay attention. And you start teaching them that instead of, listen, you have the tools within your mind, your brain, and your body. 
and experience. Go experience. Now, if that would be dangerous, I'll just give you a heads up that it might be dangerous. Give, so, me, give me an example from your courses that you're teaching people to grab this new language of the ultimate medicine. You ask him a simple question. Is your health within your hands? And they will say, or oh, yes or no, and if no, it's due to viruses, it's due to bacteria, funguses, it's due to the weather, it's due to your, if you're cold or not. So the first concept is your health and your wealth is in your hands. It's within your mind to your hands, within the game of life. It's in your hands. Now you want to relearn. First of all, forget, almost forget what you were taught mm -hmm. and then relearn your abilities. Most people don't understand their abilities. So you give them their abilities back to themselves. And then once they start getting the abilities and they start getting the, the notion of believing in themselves more and more and more and reducing a lot of their fears and change a little bit their beliefs with new concepts, and they see that it's working, and that's what we're doing for the course, then, then they take charge and then they become who they want to become. Each one within, within his own, not limits anymore, abilities. So you decrease limits, give more abilities. Decrease limits, give more abilities. This is when you should teach them how to be themselves to begin with. People that want to be part of the course, want to be um, practitioners, want to be um, people that are helping themselves as part of the ultimate medicine just to contact. Absolutely. Give the message, email, Facebook, YouTube, um, make a phone call, come to visit in the Holy Land. Oh yeah. And uh, to be part of the Dreamer Center and the ultimate medicine. Dr. Yitzhak Dreamer, founder, the creator and also the teacher of the Ultimate Medicine. Thank you very much. Thank you.